Find the exact value of cosine of x over 2, given that sine x is equal to negative 4 fifths, and that x is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. Solution. So in this problem, we have to use the half number identities. So the half number identities for cosine are cosine of x over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine x all over 2. The one for sine is very similar, except it has a minus sign here. So the first step in this problem is to figure out whether or not we're using the plus or the minus. In order to do that, we have to figure out where the angle x over 2 is. So first, we're told that the angle x is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So we write that down. Then we have to manipulate this to get x over 2. So to do that, we can divide everything by 2 or multiply by 1 half, same thing. So multiplying this one by 1 half gives us 3 pi over 4. Multiplying x by 1 half gives us 1 half x, or x over 2. And multiplying this one by 1 half cancels the 2, so that gives us just pi. So x over 2 is between 3 pi over 4 and pi. So here's pi, and here's 3 pi over 4. So x over 2 is somewhere here in this little red region here. So that's where x over 2 is. So cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. So over here, the x-coordinate is negative. That means cosine has to be negative. So we're going to use the negative one. So cosine of x over 2 is equal to negative square root 1 plus cosine x over 2. So quick recap. The first thing you have to do is figure out which formula to use. So you write down your condition for x, and then you manipulate it to make it look like x over 2. We, we multiplied everything by 1 half, and we got this. Then draw a little picture so you can see where the angle is. So x over 2 is somewhere over here in this red region. Cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. So x is negative over here, so you know cosine has to be negative as well. Okay, so now we use the negative one. So we got that. Now we're stuck because we don't know cosine. So what we can do is we can use this to find cosine. So I'll do it over here on the side. So we'll use the identity sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So sine is negative 4 fifths. So this is negative 4 fifths squared plus cosine squared, and that's equal to 1. If you square each piece, you get 16 over 25 plus cosine squared, and that's equal to 1. Right, negative 4 squared is 16, and then 5 squared is 25. Now we have to subtract 16 over 25 from both sides. So in order to subtract 1, in order, in order to do 1 minus 16 over 25, you want to think of 1 as 25 over 25. So 25 over 25 minus 16 over 25 is 9 over 25. Then you take the square root. And when you take the square root of both sides, you do get a plus or minus. So you get plus or minus 3 fifths. We have to figure out now if it's the plus or the minus. Well, that's pretty easy to do. We're looking for where x is in this case. So x is here. That's between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So x is in this red region here. Well, cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle. And over here, the x-coordinates are positive. That means cosine, in this case, is positive. So we're going to use the positive one. So we want positive 3 fifths. So now back to our problem. We have negative square root 1 plus 3 fifths. That's all over 2. To simplify this, what we can do um, is we can multiply by 5 over 5 to clear the fraction. So 5 over 5, I'll do it that way. This is negative square root. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 fifths is 3. On the bottom, we get 5 times 2, which is 10. So we end up with the square root of 8 over the square root of 10. 
And I suppose you could rationalize, but I will leave the answer um, like this. Hope that made sense.